Hey, 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 Alan, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, just kind of, I found you here at the desert. I know, it's my favorite place sometimes when it's not too uh, windy or cold. Uh, hashtag W. That's right. So, what do we got here today? Well, we're looking at a 2010 Montana. A, a, a 2010? 2010. 2010. But what, what's pulling it? Uh, 2018 Dodge Ram 3500 Dually. So, I like it. Yeah. I like the color. We'll have to do a video on that after uh, maybe another time. Yeah. So we'll do the trailer now. Though. That'll be good. We'll thumbnail it. Right on. <laughs> I think the model number is like a 29.5 Hickory, Montana Hickory. And I, the cabinets seem to be really heavy duty. We'll go, when we do the inside part, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But let's uh, let's do a little walk around. I hear when you test uh, cabinets, you slam them, right? Yeah. Is, is that what you do? <laughs> <laughs> This one has two slides. Okay. It has. Are they both on the same side or are they uh, They're both they on the driver's side. And then what's also good about this trailer is there's two gray tanks. So there's two 45 gallon gray tanks. So 90 gallons of gray. So a lot of people are, when you go camping, they run out of gray and then they have to go to a dump station. And so for us, we seem to do pretty good. One for the kitchen and then one for the shower and the uh, bathroom. So. Uh, sink. That works really well. Okay. So the best thing about a fifth well is there's storage up front, which I can't show you right now, but there's a pretty good amount of storage, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen already. What's something that you normally put in there? Is that like is that like uh, dishes or what do you put in there? Oh, that's a good question. So I have an easy up in there. I have the, my batteries are in there. I have my generator, portable generator, Honda 2000, super quiet, so we don't bother, bother the neighbors and everyone likes that. Uh, some tarp, some supplies, so a lot of stuff, and I can still fit more in there actually. So that's good. Room to grow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the propane tank. There's one on each side. There's a big one, so that really does get. This is the favorite part about about a fifth wheel is you have this huge storage. As you can see on this side, I put my fishing poles, my flag poles, and a lot of Rosie's little drinks we drink. Those look empty to me. They look very empty. Those look empty to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's even my motorcycle rack. How that's how big it is in there. It is in there. Do, uh, do, the, do the trailers come with all these awesome stickers or is uh, this? No, you have to go to these places. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go to, to the Oasis in Las Vegas or Bryce Canyon, Lake Powell. You have to be a Johnny Cash fan. It's all part of the Montana experience. Okay, the Montana experience. Okay. Do you work for Montana? <laughs> no, I should though. I mean, they should be paying me because I mean. Hashtag maybe sponsor right. someday. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, we have a little TV that slides in here and we watch football and go camping when it's football season or. Um, I think that's about the most part of it. But yeah, it has an automatic awning for 20, 2010. That's pretty good. I mean, I think it's one of the first ones that seems to hold up pretty well. It has a 12 gallon hot water um, tank, so that's usually their six gallons. So that's nice to have extra water when you're, uh, when you're taking a shower. The outdoor outlet, too, is nice right there for speaker, TV. Yeah. Having the 110 outside. You gotta have it because my wife likes her music. You gotta be powered up. Go Hawks! Go Hawks! But other than that, it's automatic jacks in the back. Oh, we put this cool motorcycle rack. Um, my friend Ken helped, uh, they built it, and then I've been using this for years. The GTM rolls on right on the back. It seems to go really well. There's two supports for it, so it's amazing. This side, there's not much on this side, there's just the two slides. But it does come with the, the, the toppers. Slide covers or slide, so slide. I don't have to go up there and brush anything down. Um, it probably needs to be washed because it's been storage for a while, but it works my head's right away. But I did put this backup camera up here. The vat works really well. And that's an Amazon product, probably about 160 bucks. So is that something you had to wire through the trailer or? Yeah, I took that light out, that center light, and just wired it through the running lights and it totally uh, gives it power and I don't have to worry about it. Do you, do you need to, uh, the, actually, how do you get that signal to the truck? Is that like a coax cable or what, what do you do? Oh, it's Bluetooth, see that little. Oh, well that's nice. Event, so that seems pretty convenient. Yep, yeah, it goes to the truck. And the truck has a, a pretty good size screen. I think it's a seven inch screen. Oh, well that's nice. Yeah, so you can see what's going on. Oh yeah, so we had to put these steps in because it came with the regular trailer steps and they hung down too low and this trailer, for some reason, in the back would drag ass. And um, that's a technical term, but... <laughs> technical term! So we bought these on Amazon as well and they're super sturdy and they work really well. The only problem is, is if it's you're at a campground that's really low, 
uh, we were staying in Long Beach, I had to take these off. And which is fine, we had a step stool and it worked fine. Which um, is funny because I, I, I've normally seen people, they take the extensions out, but yeah. you're bottomed down already. Yeah, I took the extensions out and I still couldn't get that stairs down. And I couldn't close the door because the stairs were too high. For so, sure. The, but other than that, and then if someone's parked real close to you, which, you know, only in storage you have to worry about. If you're, if you're camping that close, you probably shouldn't be camping. Yeah. Well, if you're camping in storage, maybe there's another problem there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you're camping in storage, you're not really camping. You know. I think you're... Uh, I think you're living there. Yeah. I don't know. What do they call that? You're, you're squatting. You're squatting. That's a whole other conversation video. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it has this big picture window. We love the picture window. Wow. Um, you know, weather's not good or, or the weather's great. You sit here and enjoy and you don't have to go out right away. So that's super nice. And then, like I said, these cabinets are, are the solid wood. Um, I mean, they're old school, so, but it's it's really well built. I mean, it has like a homey of, vibe. It does have a homey vibe. Yeah, it kind of has like a, your grandparents live here vibe. <laughs> <laughs> This makes out into a couch. I wish this this is that blow up bed, and it is works really well. Um, but you do have to have you know an inverter, or you have to have the generator if you're boondocking like we are today. Or so for when you guys come, you and Cody, it would be nice if this was just a flip couch. It'd be much faster to make. But it works. It has these double blinds. It has like the dark shades, and then it has the light shades. So I mean, I like that. A lot of people like that. I did put in this extra shelf for, for Rose, oh. and you can see she still has a That's not factory? Room. No, this is not factory. I added this in this part. It even has a bevel. Yeah, got to have that from Home Depot. So now she she has more room. Than we were living in this for a while, so, you know, you need all the storage. <laughs> Tons of storage. Um, love uh i love that it almost has like a mini island like i love that it extends yeah, out and i love this countertop it's like i don't know what they call this corion it's super it's not uh for mica it's a corion countertop so huh. i guess that's why we need the one ton because this probably weighs a ton right here <laughs> <laughs> that well that's what you tell your wife yeah right. oh we need it because the countertop right. <laughs> right. uh, uh, you want the countertop you need the big it's truck. Tucks. yes yeah and you get the big payment we need the that. dually yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah welcome to big payments yes but this we bought used, so we, didn't, we don't have a payment on this. But the truck, you know, that we'll be paying that off till we're seventies. But other than that, it's worth it. Um, we did put this fireplace in, so that was kind of cool. Normally, this didn't come with it, so the newer trailers have fireplaces. So I just kind of cut this hole, and the, behind that is the heater anyway. And there's a six inches between this and the heater, so no problem, and it plugs right in. Um, Does it, do you have to? Can you run that off the batteries, or is that do have to have like you the? You have to have electricity. Oh, okay. You could probably run it off the generator, but the generator would be on high mode, and you don't want to be. You a don't bad want to do Sam. that. You know, no one wants to be a bad Sam. Um, what else? So it has tons of storage. It has tons of storage. One thing that's cool is that this normally could be a washer dryer combo unit in here, so it has like the outlet for the washer and dryer, but we use it for alcohol, which we drank already, because um, it's almost the end of the trip, and then this is all. <laughs> Um, food storage and then we added that shelf up there because we, again we were living in the trailer we needed more space but how long were you living in here for two months for how, two months and we do you really, miss it it really we really did really well if it wasn't because you know work got in the way and the travel being we couldn't find any spots where we could stay for long term that were in California that were reasonable we uh, we ended up buying another small place but we would totally live in this and we're planning on living it in a few more years when we retire we really enjoy it we really uh we like the tiny life tiny house living minimalizing, minimalizing. a little bit it has a nice good size fridge you know the regular seven whatever cubic feet it seems to work really well knock on wood, wood. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of it that's right it's got the ceiling fan up here it has this old school bathroom which i wish it didn't work like one thing i don't care for but it's not a deal breaker for us is that the toilet is small, like that is tiny in there. Um, I mean, we totally fit, but it'd be nice if like the newer ones would have the shower and the, and the toilet together. And this was like a hallway on the left. So what happens when there's a shower? Like what do you do when there's, when you take a shower, if, especially if you have guests? Oh yeah. So we'll just, you have this door. So we have this door and then we have pocket door. So we can totally like, now you're, you can do this whole shower thing. You don't have to worry about it. One thing cool about older trailers that a lot of the newer trailers don't do is this trailer has a ton of overhead vents. So there's one here, there's one right above you, there's one over here. Um, so like, and there's one in the bathroom, there's four. Like are they um, are they all powered or? 
No, the one in the back, that one's powered, but the rest have uh, the hood vents on them. But what's nice is like when you're at the beach and the breeze really does cool the RV down, like some of the newer trailers that we looked at only had maybe one in the bathroom or maybe one in the bathroom and one over here. This one's got four. So that helps get the moisture out. Cause one thing is, you know, you don't want condensation in these type things. So, um, yeah, we'll move around and then I'll show you the closet. It's kind of cool. Um, this is kind of unique. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a little dresser. Um, I, we used it when we lived at full time, but we hardly use it now. Cause it's just, we don't carry that much clothes anymore. Um, we put them all in here. We put all our stuff in this, this cabinet here and there's tons of space and, but we did use this for sure when we were living in it. So that would worked out really well. And then we want, when we watch TV, it's all kind of an old school TV, but. It's kind of interesting. Cause I feel like a lot of the trailers have the washer and dryer there. They do. Yeah. So the, I think a couple years later they put it here and that's probably a better place for it. Yeah. Yeah. But right now we, we you know, we have that extra storage for, uh, for food and, and drinks and things like that. Um, which is nice is they have this super big closet. So it's, uh, cedar lined you know and for 20 2010 i thought that was pretty good and, and knock on wood i mean other than the bathroom and maybe that little step as we go out we'll see when we leave yeah um i i love this trailer i would keep it for forever you know as long as it would hold up and it seems to be holding up well what are some of the modifications that you've added in this trailer oh i put on these uh i put these usbs above our above our head so like when we're not we store it they're not on all the time so you just touch it and then charges our phone or your laptop or whatever right off the battery um i did have solar panels i got two solar panels they put on the roof um so right now we're running off of solar for the last three days and just put the generator 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 <laughs> generator when That's you a new want one. <laughs> generator when you want it on uh to you know power the microwave or whatever but a coffee pot coffee pot um so those are the big ones was the solar and then the usbs um and then the extra shelves because you can never have enough storage and there's storage under the bed here and there's even a little safe under the bed which is kind of cool um you know not that we had anything to put in there but that's what you would say if you had something to put that's in there right. <laughs> i put my million dollar uh, medallion i there. didn't put those there <laughs> not in here. don't, <laughs> don't know where we are right now starter wells yeah starter wells, <laughs> starter wells California. so that's a tour very awesome alan thank you so much yeah it's good seeing you again Corey. we'll see you outside with another beer Woo! Woo.